I'm Ray Villasenor with The Lation Professional, and this is an Antari Closer Look. Today we're looking at Antari's HZ-1000. The HZ-1000 is Antari's flagship compressor-based haze machine. That means the HZ-1000 doesn't use a heater core, making it much more efficient and much less power hungry than other hazers on the market. Now, the difference between a compressor-based hazer and a heater-based hazer is that the compressor inside a hazer like this will actually suck in the fluid and pushes it under so much pressure that it's gonna atomize the fluid and spit it out to give you the finest, cleanest possible haze that you can get. Heater-based haze machines, on the other hand, are gonna take a fluid, they're gonna warm it up, and then after they warm it up, it's gonna spit it out into some fans, and then those fans break up that fog and spit it out into a haze-style atmospheric effect. Now, the heater-based hazers, they're, they're good, but they're not going to be as efficient and they're not gonna be as clean as a haze machine would be. And when I say clean, I mean as in the type of atmospheric effect you're gonna get. Looking at the front of the unit, you'll notice a very clean and easy to read fluid gauge. No more guessing how much fluid is in the tank. You'll always know. The main output nozzle and the wind diverter, which is three position, because the unit also includes an integrated squirrel cage fan for a nice, powerful distribution. You'll also notice your refill tube and a very clever feature, a magnetic sensor placed right here. What that does is that prevents the unit from outputting if the cover is ever left on by mistake. Now let's take a closer look at some of the feature sets of the HZ-1000. First and foremost, you notice the HZ-1000 is completely encased in its own road case with casters allowing you to easily transport the HC-1000 from position to position and in and out of the truck. Next, you'll notice that the HC-1000 includes built-in DMX. No need to purchase an additional DMX module. It's already integrated in the HC-1000 with five pin and three pin DMX connections. The newest True One power connection an optional jack for a wireless WDMX connection if you require one, and a very innovative and easy to read and use TFT full color display. Power switch and breaker. Let's take a closer look at the display and the functions. First you'll notice we have a timer function, a volume function, a DMX function, and over here a settings function. Again, nice, clean, easy to read color display, that's touchscreen. So for our timer function, we would simply hit timer and then we would adjust the time settings. On or off. For our volume function, this is basically a manual control where you have low or high. Our DMX settings, turns DMX on or off, and you can adjust your DMX address. And then our overall settings that allow you to get into the timer settings, quick start settings, which will immediately go to those last known settings after power was turned off. Sensor on or off, which turns the magnetic sensor on the front on or off. WDMX on or off, your DMX 512 settings, your fan speed, 20%, all the way up to 100%. Volume mode, which again, low or high for your timer settings. Your timer mode, and there you go. And those are all the settings of the HZ-1000. Let's take a look at the output of the HZ-1000. First, low mode.
That's low with the fan at 100%. And again, you'll see how the wind diverter does make a dramatic change in the direction of the output. Let's take a look at high. High, again with the wind diverter. We'll turn the fan down. Fan at 20%. We're still on high. Low. Very impressive output. Two gallon tank, which means the five ounces that the machine will use in one hour is gonna last a long time. And that's five ounces an hour at full. At low, you're gonna get about two ounces an hour consumption. Again, extremely efficient. As you can see, with the HC1000's feature set and impressive output, it truly does make this the ideal hazer for your arena applications and touring applications.